All right, guys. So if you want to follow along, you can, but again, you don't have to. So I'm going to make this into a video. But if you want to uh, render out a picture of your uh, character, um, I would get rid of your reference first. So you guys don't have your reference in your scene anymore and you just have your model. I'd also put a ground in. So it could be a square ground or it could be a circle ground. But I just put a flat ground in so that when you take a picture, it'll have shadows and look like your character standing on something. So first things first, guys, you want to come over here where it says Arnold and click on that. It's going to give you guys all the different Arnold rendering setups. So you're going to click on the sun. So make sure you just click on the one with the sun. It's called Create Physical Sky. You click on that. And you guys could automatically just take a picture. But the problem is you guys can see it's really dark. So it's because of the settings inside of uh, Maya with your Arnold. So you just want to bring up your brightness and your uh, exposure a little bit. A lot of students will use this and look at it this way. And it's like, oh, it looks better. But I'm a, when you save it, it doesn't save your guys' adjustments here. It only lets you look at it. So you do have to change your lighting in your scene to take this picture. So I'm going to click on the sun. And as long as you have your uh, attribute editor open, which is the three rectangles here with the lines through them, if you have that open, you guys can see it has your intensity, it has your exposure. Um, so I'm going to move my intensity to about one point, well, let's just say two. I'm going to move my exposure to a point five, point five, point six. Now if I take that same picture, see now it's too bright. So that's where I'll come back and adjust it again. So once it's done rendering, it's a little too bright. So I'm going to go ahead and come back. I'm going to bring my exposure down to like maybe 0.2. Take the picture again. It's a little better, still a little bright. So I might bring my intensity down to 1.6. So it's rendering. So if you guys have had me before, you also know one of my biggest pet peeves when you guys are turning in models is being too zoomed out. I want to feel like I'm part of the cartoon and I'm part of the character with the story. So again, I'm wanting to look like it's actually in Pixar or Nickelodeon or Sony. So try to get a good angle of your stuffed animal that you've made, your model, and just get in there nice. Also, if he has ears, you're going to have to zoom out a little bit. But you guys can see now that it's a lot more uh, Pixar quality. Again, I don't really like where my feet are. I also noticed that my character's floating, so I'm going to go ahead and bring my ground up a little bit. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. And I'm going to take that picture again. So again, taking take in the fact that you guys probably have ears on your character, you're going to want to zoom out a little bit more than I am right now. But you guys can see now I feel like I'm part of the cartoon. I'm actually looking at the character. So once you guys get the shot you want, I'm going to zoom out just a slight more because it's cutting off the top of his head. Perfect. So once this is done rendering, I'm going to save this as an image to turn in. So I'm going to go to File, Save Image. Again, you guys want to go to User Storage and go to your folder. And you want to put it in your Images folder. So again, you want to make sure you're saving all your models in your Images folder. Go ahead and make this name this one Advanced model so again advanced model that's what we're going to be doing when you turn it in so again this is what you guys are going to be doing to render in the image to turn in your stuffed animal advanced model